name is Steve, and I am pleased to welcome you all to the first episode of Come Here Till I Tell You. On the show, we'll have some panelists coming on, having a bit of crack, playing a couple of games, and we have a special guest star coming on later on as well for a bit of an interview. But first, what I'll do is introduce my panelists. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause to our punters tonight. We have Lisa Casey, Eve Darcy, Joe Rooney, and James Cadden. <laughs> Make yourselves comfortable, make yourselves comfortable. Nice and relaxed. Hi, everybody. Hi, thanks so much for coming along. How was all your Paddy's Day, Joe? I was in Hong Kong. Oh, in Hong Kong? Yeah, nice. for Paddy's Day, and I uh, picked up a few things to bring home. Oh, yeah, so what? Uh, venereal diseases. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice, easy kind of hand luggage you to bring home with you. You don't get in on the hands. You don't want it on the hands. I, you don't know so much about venereal diseases. <laughs> 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 Thankfully not, I do not know. Lisa, how was your Paddy's Day? Hopefully not as adventurous as no, Joe's. Was, was. it was good. I was overlooking after Joe. <laughs> Making sure he's okay after his... I didn't touch him, though. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> You're safe then in that case. James, how was your Paddy's Day? Uh, my Paddy's Day was good. I was in Dublin City for the parade, uh, mingled with the American tourists. They come over here. I wanted to give them the authentic experience mm -hmm. of a drunk, depressed Irish man vomiting in the streets. So that's the spirit of it, you know? That's yeah. what they Make need to see. Make them feel at home. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, Joe, you have a very popular podcast called Potter Rooney. Yes. So now there's a lot of podcasts out there recently. So what makes yours kind of stand out a little bit more than everybody I think, else's? I think it's like it's two people talking to each other. Which I think that really stands out from all the other <laughs> podcasts. Yeah, true, yeah. Yeah, big difference, yeah, big difference. Just talking to each other for an hour. And, uh, an that's, hour? Yeah, that's my idea. I just came up with that. <laughs> <laughs> a million, a million dollar idea, a million dollar idea. And yeah. I believe you also have a podcast coming out soon, Humans Discuss Being. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So we're going to be playing like a game of Twister um, for a podcast and um, answering the deep philosophical questions. Whilst playing Twister? Yeah, whilst playing Twister, yeah. And Perfect. then having a chat about it afterwards. My aim is to get every guest to have a breakdown. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Nothing better than breaking down while playing Twister. Yeah, absolutely. Not gonna lie. Now, Lisa, bring it over to you as well. You won the Irish Comedian of the Year last year. Mm -hmm. As if, uh, <laughs> as if she wouldn't win it. What were you saying? I am just saying. Tell us a joke. Well, if, you, if you want to know why laxatives, the other guests. Oh, to the other, oh, to the others, and not to yourself. Yeah. So we oh, couldn't okay. really finish their set, like so. I was <laughs> kind of won by default, but anyway, yeah. uh, it doesn't take away from the fact that I won. So. Yeah. Exactly. No, it's well mm. deserved. Well deserved. Yeah. Um, so what have you been getting up to lately? I believe you're working on the Tri Channel. Is that correct? I have been doing some of that. Yeah. YouTube. Been YouTube. The YouTube. Okay. Yeah. The YouTube, mm -hmm. as all the kids call it these yeah. days. James, uh, yourself, you were a finalist at the Cherry Comedy Breakout yes. Act of the Year. That's right. Very long yes. Sentence. I didn't win. Uh, it's all political. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was fun. A lot of talented comedians. So I was just happy to take part, or whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was good. Do you have anything else coming up soon? Yeah, I've got a few gigs. Well, I actually just won another competition not too long ago, so uh, I'm happy with that. So I've got a few gigs coming up based on that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's, uh, it's going well, I hope. It's <laughs> perfect. Our lovely panelists, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. So without wasting any more time, let's get on to our first game. So we have two teams. On table one, we have the Planks, and on table two, we have the Egypts. I didn't come up with the name, I swear. Uh, but this game is called Two Lies and One Truth. Basically, I have three headlines. I'm going to read them out to you. Two of them will be fake, one will be correct. The planks and the edges you both have 30 seconds to figure out which headline is correct. If you know the answer, buzz in. If you're correct, you get a point. If you're wrong, I pass it over to the team. We all count the rules? Yeah. yeah. Probably getting ready with that buzzer already. Perfect. So, dozens of Bibles and a cross survive a powerful inferno which ripped through a church. Palestine granted permission to compete in Eurovision 2019, and a man sues Spotify after it adds Justin Bieber to his Discover Weekly playlist. Straight away with the planks. I'm going for Spotify, the man suing Spotify. Man suing Spotify, is that a, a suable offence, having Justin well, Bieber appear on your phone randomly? It does annoy me when uh, Spotify or YouTube uh, try to, with their logarithms, is that what they're called? That's what they're called uh, nowadays, yeah? They try to tell me what I should be watching. What you should and be watching. And they always get wrong. I mean, they're rubbish, uh, like Netflix as well. Uh, I ended up watching Training Day uh, this morning. And uh, <laughs> over breakfast. Prepare yourself for this. And uh, it really annoyed me. That film really annoyed me because it, it, because it, uh, I, it, the hood. Apparently, what happens in the in the hood mm -hmm. is I know it well. all the lads are very muscly and they wear vests, and that's all the lads. There's no <laughs> lad skinny fella. 
just wearing an old vest that's hanging <laughs> off it. <laughs> <laughs> and all the girls just tend to just go around and do that all the time. There you go. Okay, so and that's so what happens in the hood. Apparently. That's what happens in the hood. So we'll go with your guess. Anything there for the agents at all that you think might be one, two, or three? Um, I'm going to say one. Um, because I feel like Bibles and crosses will be like the black box of a church. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so we have our two answers. So the correct answer is the dozens of Bibles. So dozens of Bibles and a cross survive a powerful inferno which ripped through a church is true. A church in West Virginia burned to the ground in a blaze that forced firefighters to back out at one point. Yet the Bibles and the cross survived. Yeah, so they probably say that as a sign from God. But like... That's, they were saying how lucky that was. But it's not lucky because the whole place burnt down. <laughs> you know I mean? But they're so, going to rebuild it out of Bibles and crosses. <laughs> so, <laughs> round two, we got our next set of headlines coming up as well, please. Perfect. So, thousands of lie ins at risk as the EU targets changing of clocks. Wikipedia under fire after spoiling Making a Murderer season two. And a woman is delighted to chop off her finger and throw it in the bin. Show you the planks. The planks are very quick on the buzzer today. What you got, planks? I, I'm going to order a woman delighted to chop off a finger and throw it in the bin. Because why wouldn't you be delighted? <laughs> okay, okay, I'll go with that then. And you just you want to throw in as well? I trust Joe's instincts. We're going to go you with woman delighted to chop off her finger. You can't go with the one I did. I think I can. There's no rules to say that. Uh, uh, Steve? There actually is rules to say that. Okay. <laughs> I stand corrected. Fine. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll go with uh, Wikipedia under fire after spoiling making a murder. Fantastic. Season two. You shouldn't have changed your answer. The correct answer is woman <laughs> delighted <laughs> to show the the Which is it, Steve? Don't point for All right. Me. A woman from Cork or from Head of Cork suffered two failed surgeries when she got her finger caught in the door like eight years ago. And since then, she just decided to take matters into her own hands. But I feel, I feel like she wouldn't be delighted, though. Like, what? Like that? After two fails, you just you couldn't be arsed trying to find the okay, yeah. would you? Glad <laughs> is a strong word, though. <laughs> Self-harming is very pleased. big these days, so yeah, maybe exactly. that's fine. Now, I'd we go be on. the same. At, uh, I'd be the same. Uh, we, we have a knife out back, if you're it. <laughs> <laughs> now, we move on to our third round here. We get the third round of headlines up. Jay-Z admits to cheating on Beyonce just to give her material for songs. Grandma peacefully drifts off out to sea on an iceberg after deciding to take a picture on it. And Trump worries he might lose 2020 election now that Clinton is not running. So two of those are lies and one of them is correct. The plank straight away it with the answer. It has to be the grandma. The grandma? Okay. I'm going to paint that. Is that bad? Does she did she die or anything, I wonder? Maybe it's not true. Exactly. We don't know if it's true. And I, you just to want be. to feel anything on this one? That is true. That's an excellent... Um, it's a great marketing strategy, isn't it? Cheating. Good excuse. It's really, it's excellent. Like, I'm doing yeah. it for you, sweetie. Like, I'm doing it for your career. <laughs> like, that's really clever. Works every time, works yeah. every time. But unfortunately, the correct answer is the grandmother oh, wow. peacefully drifts oh, off to sea, so I'm the planks get the point. Sad at the same so. time. <laughs> at the end of that game, we have the planks over here with 16 points, winning at the moment the Egypts with 19 points. Wait a minute. How is that possible? Okay, I it. don't have a pen, okay? <laughs> Okay, uh, so I'll move quickly along into our next game, which is called <laughs> Guess the Movie Tagline. So I'm going to basically show up a tagline from some well-known films, and you must guess which film it is. I'm not looking for the year around like that, but a bonus if you can get the year. So, you'll never go into the water again. The planks Whoa. are just on the buzzer today. Yes. Um, is it... <laughs> Star Wars? <laughs> Star Wars. Star Wars. You'll never go into the water again. I was going to Tatooine, very good for its water. So, you want to go with Star Wars? Star Wars? Egypt? Anything to put in? We're going to go with Jaws, the film Jaws. about the shark called Jaws. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, cor the correct answer is, in fact, Jaws. 1975. Exactly. Yeah. 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 For the name of the film. Right. Next question, please. So, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Uh, the planks are just on uh, the New Jack City. <laughs> New, ja <laughs> New Jack City. Oh, money messing. Get right. rid of the no, So, New uh, Jack City Lisa, is your Lisa. answer? No, no, no. Lisa no. <laughs> buzzed. I didn't buzz. Oh, Lisa, oh, apologies. Yeah, sorry. Lisa, what is your answer? What is it? The Shining. The Shining. The Shining, okay. The Shining, Jack Nicholson. Anything from the Egypts? And uh, we're not allowed to give the same answer, is that correct? If you want to give the same answer, you can. All right, well, then, The Shining, 1980. Got the year in there too. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, the correct answer is, of course, The Shining. Ah, and it is from 1980. Nice. Four no. years of film paying <laughs> off. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. So we got one point to the planks. And actually, I'm going to give you guys another point oh, as well you. because you got the year. Right. <laughs> right, so now the third movie tagline, if we could, please. They had obviously nothing, but they were willing to risk it all. Every film ever. <laughs> <laughs> planks straight away on the buzzer. 
Wall Street. Wall Street. <laughs> <laughs> what? But well, they, had, they, they, had, well, they, they didn't have nothing. They didn't have oh, nothing, actual exactly. Wall Street. Anything from the Egypts in this one? Home Alone. Oh, Home Alone. <laughs> <laughs> OK, is this going from, coming from the Sticky Bandits point of view? You're buzzing again. Uh, casino. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna take your two answers into account. Unfortunately, both of you are, inco are incorrect. The correct answer is the commitments oh, yeah. from 1980. Close. At the end of that round, the Egypts are coming ahead now with 2,086 oh, points. Oh, so good. congratulations, good job, guys. Awesome. Very impressed. Very impressed. <laughs> now, before we go on to our next game, what we'll do is we'll take a little bit of a break. So don't go anywhere, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, welcome back. We have a couple of games left to go, and then we have our special guest star that's gonna be joining us out for a little bit of an interview later on as well. Straight into the next game, which is Guess the Year. We're gonna show you a series of ads. There you have to basically guess the year that the ad was broadcasted originally. No extra points for the product because it's in the ad. So just remember to press your button and give me a, even just a guess of the year when it came out. So we can get the first ad, please. Potato crisps, so fresh, they're irresistible. Well, it's only what you'd expect from Tato. Is he grooming is, her with those crisps? <laughs> is that what's happening? So this is, of course, an old yeah. ad for Tato crisps. Does anybody know the year that that ad was released? There's no Tato man on the front of the pack. Maybe that'll give you a hint. I don't know. Uh, 1992, maybe? 1992, the, the okay. Sorry. Um, There's a poster. 1989? 1989, oh. okay. Both, both good guesses. Both incorrect, however. Oh. The correct <laughs> year was 1985. Oh. Very close, yeah. very close. But no, unfortunately, Chris... So the old man is definitely sense. not still alive in that. <laughs> <laughs> mm. We're, We're all going to die one day. That's the takeaway <laughs> message from this. Thanks, Stop Lisa. it, James. Uh, can we do a game where we just guess how many people are dead? <laughs> <laughs> from all our lands? <laughs> <laughs> so we move on now to our next ad. Now, if you want to just roll this out for me. Quinsworth shoppers are as happy as Larry. Our prices are as low as done. We've got baskets of clementines, 119 a kilo. Nets of Brussels sprouts, 98 pence a kilo. And sides of Irish smoked salmon, 4.59 each. And the quality of our fresh foods has never been better. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say <laughs> there yeah, our price so is as good as done? Is that what he said? Is that <laughs> they're, they're probably not allowed to do No that. comment on Bradley. That was Gorse. Morris Pratt. I remember him. That was his name was Morris Pratt. Is he still alive at the moment? Oh, I'd say he's dead. He's eating he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. I've noticed no nobody's one. buzzed in yet, oh. so does anybody... Oh, well, there we go, right there. Oh, well... I buzzed for you, George. I would say... Because I, I recognise that ham. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's quite a I'll famous ham. The ham actually... Um, Went to you at Singapore that time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to push this for no, an answer. It was the host today, late show, before Gay Bourne. <laughs> uh, um, do we have an answer there, Lisa, with your... I'd go for 92. 92. 92. Egypt's anything, Pop? Uh, we'll go 1990. 1990. Yeah. Okay, we'll move straight across to the old Quinsworth ad from 1992. Oh, good job. Yeah. That yeah. was impressive. That was Quinsworth. Really yeah. Ham. Now we'll just it was fly. called Pat Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> 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 then we'll fly straight into the next ad. Oh my God, it's my nanny. <laughs> <laughs> She's still alive. She, she's dead. <laughs> Best of luck. Best of luck. Double centers show you care twice as much. Double centers from Macintoshes. A tempting range of luscious plain and milk chocolates with not one, but two delicious centers each. Double centers show you care twice as much. <laughs> that candy's full, of, candy's full of lasers. Anybody have any guesses on the year? Buzz! I shouldn't have told them. I don't have an answer, them. so that was... Uh, okay. I would say, um, 96. 96? But the lasers... Oh, maybe 1990, I don't know. Yeah, oh, maybe 89, because was... lasers... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will have to push this for the answer in this case. 89. 89. 89. Are in the, the correct answer is 1989. Oh, 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 good job. We know our lasers. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so at the end of that round, we have the Egypts over here. They've actually gone down points. They're only 25 points. Next game, before we have our lovely guests come out and join us, we're going to do a little bit of a game called Guess the Guest. 
So these are people who unfortunately were unable to attend tonight. So you're gonna see photographs of some people we, were, we had on the list for guests, but unfortunately due to time constraints, we couldn't get them. They'd be slightly obscured. If you can guess the person, give us a buzz in with the answer. Yes, we have the I believe that to be Queen Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Queen Elizabeth? Yes. It's my grandma. That is correct. It is. Yes. <laughs> and it's Queen Elizabeth's eyesight. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Back when she was in the KKK, and she's got that fine <laughs> book. Yeah, she just saw some ethnic people and she's not impressed, not impressed. <laughs> not in my country, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that is a point My, then for the as agents. Then Michael Day has just farted. <laughs> <laughs> Move on now to our second guest, who unfortunately declined tonight. Oh. Show you the agents. Oh, that That's a hard one. Dustin the turkey. Dustin the turkey? Yeah. The correct answer is... <laughs> Dustin the turkey. Imagine the if job. it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer is... And a kitten. No. <laughs> um, so, unfortunately, Dustin couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he has That's been like recently what, um, the, You know the blurred picture when that came up first. Like I'm sure, like a lot of women in here would like know what that that feeling is like when you get a blurred picture and you're like, oh, I hope this isn't what I. Think this <laughs> I hope this is Dustin. <laughs> I already apologised, Eve. Can we drop it? Jesus Christ! I wonder does Dustin send those pictures? <laughs> It's, it's just, just a hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. So at the end of that round, we have another picture <laughs> at the end of that round. Uh, uh, so who is this celebrity who was unfortunately unable to attend tonight? Is it uh, someone wearing, wearing a mask? I'm oh, sorry, I didn't hear that. There was no buzzer before that. Then. <laughs> so yes, uh, Joe, you had a question there. Uh, Batman. Oh, which one? Um, that's right, Batman is an idea. The one Anything from the East? <laughs> they look very beautiful. Andrea Core or something like that. Andrea Core? Oh, yeah. that's a really good guess. Look, she's got glasses. In yeah. fact, this person is actually our special <gasps> guest for tonight. Yay. This is <laughs> Sheila Moilette. Oh. Sheila, if you're behind the stage, you want to come on out to us now? Hello. Hello, Sheila. Hello. Welcome along. Pull the chair there. Have a seat down with us. Thank you. Come on in. Thank you for pretending to know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you? What's the crack? How's life? I'm wonderful. I'm just off the set of playing The Dark Knight. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of which, you have been in some feature films as well. So recently you've been in some feature films, you've done some supporting roles, and now The Hardy Books is hitting Netflix. Yes, okay. Soon if, as well, if you so. have Netflix, then you will see me in stuff. Um, <laughs> I'm in the two seasons of Can't Cope, Won't Cope on Netflix. I am um, in Black Party 7, which is coming to Netflix, and <laughs> in season two of Hardy Bugs on Netflix. <laughs> so are you going to have a viewing party and have us over for this? or, or uh, Yes, house? because nothing says party like a film about the famine and starving <laughs> people. But we're going to have crisps at it. Yeah. Crisps. We're going to have some data. <laughs> And of course, you were in an ad recently with Johnny Sexton as well. So be honest, answer me a question, because I've always wondered, is he as handsome as he appears to me? I actually didn't know who he was, when, <laughs> but, but I've met up for it. I'm the number one, number ten fan. Oh. Um, <laughs> and he was really, really lovely. He told me I had T-Rex arms because I couldn't reach anything, but aside from that, <laughs> he was really lovely. Oh, good. that sounds nice. sounds nice. And are you working on anything currently at the moment? Um, well, I was uh, in line to be the new hand in the Super Quinn ads. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so um, I have a meeting tomorrow. Let's hope that one works out. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck Thank for that. You. It's a hard job to get. I do have a question for you. As an actor, there is it better for you to, or do you have more fun, I guess, being in feature films, or do you prefer working on kind of more long form series? Um, well, I grew up, uh, Back to the Future was the reason why I went into acting had an impact on my future. And uh, so dream, my dream was always film. So I, I mean, I'm loving doing the series because we're in golden age now of TV mm -hmm. series. Um, I'm in Can't Go, Won't Go on Netflix oh, yeah. and Hardy Bucks <laughs> on Netflix. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I love them both, whoever will have me. <laughs> and one final question for you. Are you any good at games? The best. The best, oh, even better. Well, luckily, you are going to get to decide which one of our teams you would like to join. I play a villain in a lot of things, mm -hmm. except Batman. So I'm going to go with the Egypts. Oh, okay, okay. Well, in that case, <laughs> because you are a special guest, I have a very special 
buzzer of your own. Yes. Ooh, it's blue. Oh, this is practice for the hand dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That did not disappoint. That was great. Thank you. Hire this lady. Since we are all settled in now, you're with the Aegis now. Unfortunately, the plank's giving you a bit of a cold shoulder over there. But we'll move on then to our last game, which is Guess the Song. So we're going to play you a little snippet from a song, just the intro. Now, once, let the clip play through, see if you can pick anything else up. And then if you know the answer, buzz straight in. I'm looking for the name of the song. If you know the artist, but not the song, you may get a point. But you do also get bonus points for giving us a little bit of a sing of it. So let's get our first clip played. A little bit of shimmy. You make me feel funny. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you make me feel funny. Oh, straight away. <laughs> we have <laughs> right, she you for the you. Egypts. You're from Sligo? Yeah. Um, can you confirm? I can you can. also confirm? Westlife, we got a we world, got of, our world of our own? Yeah. Yes. I can yeah. confirm it is Westlife world of our own. Can you give us a little bit of a... We All got right, a little Westlife. world of our own. Something, something, rest life or something. <laughs> Do without you. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Fantastic, yes. That was, that was rest life world of our own. That and the sad verse. <laughs> That's the point to the Aegis. We'll play our second song, please. Oh, straight away, the plank's coming in, uh, Joe. Cranberries linger. Okay, the cranberries linger. <laughs> we'll just jump straight into it. Yes, you know that me. is the correct answer, is the cranberries would linger. Yes. It's not a game anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's not straight a game anymore. Yeah. You are straight in on that one. You knew exactly what you were doing. Can I sing it? Yeah, of course you can. Uh, do I get points, though? Oh, yeah, you have to get uh, points, yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> If you, if you will return, <laughs> you linger, you have to let it linger, you have to let it linger. Oh, Beautiful. You have to yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Joe, mm. Joe, just like, just like your VD from your trip. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, you have to let it linger. It's going to linger. Yeah. <laughs> Get some air on it. Get some air on it. I will give you an extra. How many points do you want? Ah, uh, 200. Okay. <laughs> Actually, 201 That's points. Fair. Okay. Yeah. All right, there for the planks. Now, so we will move now on to our next clip. Oh, I did he, hear you buzz in first. Okay. He did not wait till the song ended, but which is clearly in the rules. That is very true. That is very true. Point of order. Two points for getting with the rules. Uh, the song is "Return of the Mac" by the, the Mac. Mac, possibly. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's returning, so that's the theme of the song. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Go. We're oh, on the same team. Close. It is Mark Morrison returning. Oh. Oh. We'll give you still the point for the return yeah. of the Mac. <laughs> 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 Speaking of finishing first, we are going to call last orders, and we are now closing soon. So, well done to my panelists, Joe, Lisa, on the planks, James, Eve, and Egypt. The winner of tonight's game is the planks. points. <laughs> but the winners of tonight's show is myself oh. and our lovely audience. Yeah. 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 So thank you very much. Safe time, thanks for joining us. I'm good night.